Another day, another Power World controversy. And who would have thunk it? It's yet another Pokemon plagiarism accusation. We know, we know, Power World this, Power World that, but uh, can't we all just be pals? Not until they set aside their differences did I see the true power they all shared deep inside. Power World has been hotly debated ever since it made its early access debut, thanks to its darker gameplay mechanics and heavy resemblance to Pokemon. For those who have missed out on the discourse, a vocal section of the gaming community has accused the Pocket Pair survival game of being a full-on clone of the Pokemon franchise, complete with character designs that look exceptionally familiar. Now, a data miner has found an unused character design that has only thrown more fuel onto the fire. Brian Cousins, the data miner who discovered the mysterious Dark Mutant, as it's called in the game's files, says he hadn't intentionally gone looking for a copycat creature when he came across this one. Instead, Cousins told Eurogamer that he's working on building a glossary of the game's character models to share with fans. The Dark Mutant was just an unexpected bonus to his hard work. Gamers on Reddit immediately called out the fact that this pal looks a whole lot like a palette swapped version of Mega Mewtwo Y an evolved form of the classic Pokemon Mewtwo that debuted in Pokemon Y. Since this discovery was made, Pokemon fans have had a fairly uniform reaction to the Dark Mutant, arguing that the similarities to Mega Mewtwo Y are a little too close to comfort. Meanwhile, Powell diehards remain convinced that Pokemon fans are looking for a smoking gun where there isn't one. The stark divide between the two camps is pretty shocking, with one side expecting this character to be the final straw for the Pokemon company, and the other side practically begging Pokemon fans to chill out. Ah, the heat is on! Pokemon YouTuber and historian Lutu was so shocked by the Dark Mutant design that they couldn't help but laugh. Posting a side-by-side -side image of the two creatures together, Lutu said, you cannot be serious, man. Lutu stopped just short of calling this character a full-on ripoff, but made their feelings quite clear. The YouTuber noted that they're not wild about the original Mega Mewtwo Y design in the first place, adding, No plagiarism accusations, but this is so creatively bankrupt, man. Would be nice for Powell's fun gameplay loop without designs that are so comparable to ones I genuinely vastly prefer. A number of Powell fans on X, formerly Twitter, have theorized that the character might have been left out of the final game when it was decided that Dark Mutant looked too much like Mewtwo. Others have argued that the similarities aren't enough to get mad about, with fans noting comparisons between Mewtwo and other anime and gaming characters, including Freezer from Dragon Ball and Snatchmon from Digimon. One ex-user joked, Pokemon can't monopolize the weird creature industry. For many of the gamers out there who are already beyond tired of the Power World hype, however, the Dark Mutant appears to be a cut-and-dried case of plagiarism. While this unnamed creature bears more than a passing resemblance to Mewtwo's mega-evolved form, it also appears to possess some type of reality-bending creation powers, much like the all-powerful Arceus of Pokemon fame. Brian Cousins discovered a PAL deck entry attached to the mysterious character model, the PAL deck being the PAL world equivalent of a Pokédex, which hints at just how powerful this thing is supposed to be in the game's lore. Some say a beam from a dark mutant that has perfected its technique can tear holes into other dimensions. It's even believed that certain species of PALs were born from such phenomena. I see now that the circumstances of one's birth are irrelevant. All in all, it's ironic that Mewtwo, a Pokemon born of cloning experiments, now has a meta-clone of its own. Many questions still remain about this discovery, even beyond the plagiarism accusations. For instance, players may want to know how the Dark Mutant might have originally fit into the game. Maybe the creature was originally meant to be an endgame challenge, much like Mewtwo was for the Gen 1 Pokemon players. One can only imagine how the Dark Mutant could upset the game's balance if it were to be added in a future Power World update as a boss or catchable pal.